Hello, my friends. Peace, shalom, salam, aloha, namaste. Blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today we are talking about little miracles. Have you ever experienced a miracle? Something really big? How about a tiny one? Maybe a little love note from God just for you. There are big miracles that God delivers to us. Sometimes wonderful things happen that we can't explain. Maybe just when all the odds are against us, something great still happens. I know people who have overcome illness that even shocked their doctors. How did this happen? Was it God? Was it angels? Was it the spirit in the patient or the spirit in the nurses? Was it perfect timing, a coincidence, or a happy accident? What if I were to say, what's the difference? Amazing and unexpected things happen all the time, every day, all around the world. We can't force them to happen, but we can keep hoping, keep praying, and keep going, keep doing our best knowing that it's meant to be. If it's meant to be, it will happen. There are other kinds of miracles as well, those small ones that remind us that life is beautiful, that we can be full of hope, that God is all around us and in the little things. Like when you see that one flower growing in a field of mud, or when you are thinking about an old song and it comes on the radio, or two friends from across the world run into each other in a brand new city. This whole world is a miracle. And all of creation is full of patterns and shapes and colors that repeat and shift in new ways. And things are crisscrossing and lining up and making special moments all the time. We might ignore these moments or call them coincidences, but why? Aren't these little events miracles too? Aren't all the surprises that nature and cities and language and math have to offer simply awesome? Don't they make life wonderful? Just because a miracle is small, like when an extra drop of sugar falls in your tea and makes it just right, don't take it for granted. Miracles are nothing we can control or demand. Don't go spending all your money on lottery tickets and expect a miracle to happen. But believing in miracles and noticing them along the way brings joy, hope, comfort, and courage to us. We need these things. They remind us of how beautiful the world is and how lucky we are to be here. And when the Spirit calls us to do something new, we can trust, not expect, but trust that we are going to be okay. All right, my children. I love you every, I love you all. <laughs> Look for those little miracles in your life this week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.